The magic is back at Bruce Johnson Hall. I'm just very excited about the future of the team. With former Memphis Grizzly Bonzi Wells taking over, Lemoyne Owen College has a fresh spotlight shining on men's basketball. Lemoyne wasn't like this at first, and now we, they brought a lot of tension, and a lot of people want to see us play, playing Memphis and stuff like that, but yeah, they brought, they brought a lot of tension here. This is surreal for me because I'm always on the other side, so now as a coach, I get to take some of the things I learned as a player, give them to the kids and you know hopefully um you know the best come out of it other former nba players who like wells have had no prior head coaching experience end up going directly to head coaching jobs in the league wells said he's fine taking the long road this is where i had to start at i mean a lot of people get opportunities and i wasn't blessed like a steve nash that can go to a brooklyn nets they have already a stacked team you're already going for a championship you know this is this is my journey this is my path and i, I wouldn't have it any other way Helping him in his journey is former Grizzlies head coach Lionel Hollins. The 68-year-old was an assistant coach when Wells played for Memphis. Now the two-time NBA champion serves as an assistant on Bonzi's staff. There's young people like Bonzi who are getting into the business who need a helping hand to lay a foundation for their careers, for their success. And somebody did it for me when I was just starting out. So it's just inevitable that you know, I come back and do it for somebody else. I mean, I've become like a, a, a player student myself. You know, when coaches get to talking, we all listen. You know, we all listen because we all want to get better. And he's, he's been there and done that. He's done everything that you can ask for in the basketball circle. So he's like the godfather of basketball for us. The duo are just two of many former athletes joining the coaching ranks at historically black colleges and universities. Holland says it's everyone's responsibility to support HBCUs. And I think this is a local university, just like Christian Brothers, just like Rose, just like Memphis, and all the schools and all the communities have to be supported. At Lemoyne Owen College, I'm Clayton Collier.